Greetings fellow adventurers. If you are dreaming of a European vacation, there are so many places to choose from. Whether you are looking for breathtaking landscape and historical treasures, a cultural city break, an outdoor adventure, or a leisurely beach holiday that make Europe a dream destination for travelers worldwide. This ultimate guide will help you find the perfect destination. In this video, we'll be counting down the top places to visit in Europe, highlighting the best attractions and activities each destination has to offer. So get ready for a thrilling tour of some of the most incredible cities and landscapes in the world. So, fellow adventurers, get ready to be enchanted by the beauty, history, and diversity of Europe. Join us as we embark on this virtual exploration of the continent's treasures. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow travel enthusiasts to spread the magic and wonder of Europe. Get ready to plan your next European getaway and let the continent's endless wonders captivate your heart and soul. Welcome to the captivating continent of Europe. We start off Munden. Explore Schlossot. Visit the picturesque castle situated on Lake Trouncy and learn about its history and folklore. Take a boat ride on Lake Trouncy and enjoy a relaxing cruise on the lake surrounded by stunning mountain scenery. Visit the Humunna Ceramic Factory. Discover the traditional craftsmanship behind Humunden's famous ceramics and browse the beautiful pottery. Take a hike in the surrounding mountains and explore the nearby mountain trails such as the Fjörkjögel and enjoy panoramic views of the region. Relax at a lakeside cafe, sit back, unwind and serve a cup of coffee while admiring the serene beauty of Lake Tronsi. We now head to Champs Elysees a famous avenue lined with shops, cafes, and iconic landmarks, such as the Arc de Triomphe. Next, we head to Montmartre, a quaint neighborhood known for its bohemian atmosphere, artist studios, and the beautiful Socrica Basilica. Next, we head to Palace of Versailles, a grand royal palace located just outside of Paris, featuring opulent gardens and breathtaking interiors. Next, we head to Saint Chapelle, an exquisite medieval chapel renowned for its stunning stained glass windows depicting biblical scenes. Next, we visit Missy Dose. This is a museum housed in a former railway station, showcasing an extensive collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art. Next, we enjoy the Seine River Cruise, a relaxing boat ride ride along the Seine River that offers a picturesque views of the city's landmarks. Next, we head off to St. Germain de Prez. This historic neighborhood is known for its charming streets, vibrant cafes, and literary heritage. Paris is truly a treasure trove for history and art enthusiasts alike. The city also boasts some of the best fashion boutiques and restaurants in the world, making it a must-visit destination for anyone who loves good food and shopping. Okay. 
Let's take a look at the southern region of Provence, France. It's known for its picturesque villages, lavender fields, and delicious wines, while the northern coast offers stunning cliffside views of the English Channel. Foodies will love France's diverse cuisine, from the rich pastries to the delicious seafood stew of the south. We now head off to Florence, Italy. Florence, known as the birthplace of the Renaissance, is home to some of the world's greatest masterpieces, such as Michelangelo's David and Botticelli's Bath of Venus. In Venice, visitors can enjoy romantic gondola rides through the city's famous canals or visit the colorful island of Burano. Whether it's art, history, cuisine, or natural beauty, Italy is a country that has it all. It's no wonder that it's a popular destination for travelers from around the world. The city of Rome, the capital of Italy is often referred to as the Eternal City because of its rich history that dates back thousands of years. The Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Roman Forum are just a few of the ancient landmarks that draw visitors from around the world. We now take a look at the Amalfi Coast, renowned for its breathtaking coastline, vibrant towns, and lemon gardens. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the area is renowned for its gastronomy as well, which includes fresh fish, homemade pasta, and limoncello. Venice is another important place to remember. This city, which was constructed on a lagoon, is distinctive in that it has no highways, only canals and waterways. The iconic St. Mark Square and the Doge's Palace can be visited or tourists can take a gondola ride to see the city. Italy is a country that has everything, whether it be in terms of art, history, gastronomy, or natural beauty. It should come as no surprise that travelers from all over the world choose it as a top destination. Buckingham, United Kingdom is a great destination for tourists who want to explore history and culture. London London is both the country's capital and largest metropolis. With its famous landmarks and contemporary skyscrapers, this city is a busy metropolis that offers visitors a rare fusion of the old and new. World-class museums, art galleries and theatres may be found in one of the most culturally significant cities in the world. Another well-liked vacation spot is Edinburgh, which is renowned for its beautiful scenery and old buildings. Several well-known landmarks including Edinburgh Castle, the Royal Botanic Garden, and the Palace of Holyrood House may be found in the city. The old town, which is full of narrow alleyways and antique structures, is another option for tourists. Manchester, United Kingdom is a bustling and electric city in the north of England with a history that resonates with today's culture. Visitors can find a wide variety of museums, galleries and restaurants, experience live performances at the Manchester Arena or the Royal Exchange Theatre. Our next stop is Lisbon the capital city of Portugal. Lisbon is a city that exudes charm, character, and culture. The city is famous for its stunning architecture, vibrant street life, and delectable food. It is also a great place to learn about Portugal's rich history.
Sintra, a charming town outside of Lisbon, well known for its magnificent palaces, lovely gardens, and historical sites. Any traveler interested in history and architecture must visit this town, which has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Porto. This is Portugal's second largest city and is famous for its historic city center, port wine, and scenic location in the Douro River. The city is a must visit for any traveler interested in history, architecture, and wine. We now head up to Algarve. This is the southernmost region of Portugal and is known for its pristine beaches, warm weather, and natural beauty. This is the perfect place for sun and sea lovers, as the Algarve boasts some of the best beaches in the world. Madeira. This stunning island, which is off the coast of Portugal, is well known for its natural splendor, beautiful hiking routes, and temperate climate. The island is a well-liked vacation spot and a fantastic place to unwind. We now head off to Belgium. Visitors to Belgium cannot miss out on visiting the iconic city of Brussels, the capital of the European Union. Here you can admire the beautiful Grand Place, the Gothic-style Town Hall, and the Atomium, a stunning steel structure built for the 1958 World Expo. Another must-visit city in Belgium is Bruges, also known as the Venice of the North. This medieval city boasts beautiful canals, picturesque buildings, and delicious Belgian chocolate shops. The city's cobblestone streets and historic architecture make it a favorite among tourists looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the big city. We now head off to Belgian city of Ghent, a fantastic visit for people curious about history's dark side. It was well known for having a bloody past in the Middle Ages, the Gravenstein Castle, a former jail and torture room, is located in Ghent. Visitors can tour the castle now and discover more about its horrific past. Belgium is renowned for its beer, culture, in addition to its cities. Beer lovers can travel to Leuven, a historic city that is home to Anhauser Buschenbev or Ebinbev, the largest brewer in the world. The city is also home to the iconic Sela Atri Brewery and the annual Zaithos Beer Festival, celebrating over 500 different Belgian beers. Another great destination for outdoor enthusiasts is Parklandshire National Park, which offers hiking and climbing opportunities. For a more laid-back vacation, head to one of the towns along the coast such as Zadar or Split Croatian. Here you can enjoy swimming, sunbathing and water sports activities. Don't forget to also try the delicious local cuisine, which is influenced by Italian and Hungarian cuisine. Seafood dishes, grilled meats and pasta are all staples in the Croatian diet. And of course, wash it all down with a glass of local wine or rakija, which is the Croatian brandy. Whether you are looking for outdoor adventures, beach relaxation or cultural experiences, Croatia has it all. It's definitely worth adding to a European travel itinerary.
Let us now head off to the Czech Republic. Outside of Prague, the country has plenty to offer as well. Explore the medieval town of Selsky Krumlov, or take a hike through the stunning Bohemian Switzerland National Park. And don't forget to sample some of the delicious Czech beer and traditional cuisine, such as goulash and dumplings. Let us now head off to the city of Tirizen. If you are a fan of history, be sure to visit the city of Tirizen, which was used as a Nazi concentration camp during World War II. It's a sobering reminder of the atrocities committed during the war and an important place to visit for those interested in learning about history. Overall, the Czech Republic is a must-visit destination in Europe, with its beautiful architecture, rich history, and stunning natural landscapes. We now head off to the second air baths. Located in Central Europe, Hungary has plenty of options to choose from, including the famous second air baths. Relax in the second air baths, while technically located in Pest, the nearby second air baths are a mass visit attraction. Soak in the thermal waters of these grand baths, surrounded by neo-baroque architecture, and indulge in a truly relaxing and rejuvenating experience. Let us now embark on a scenic hike up on Gillet Hill and be rewarded with panoramic views of Budapest. Don't forget to relax in the Gillet Baths. We now head off to Buda, Hungary. There are many activities and attractions to explore in Buda, Hungary. Visit the citadel, a fortress located at the top of the city and enjoy the beauty of the Liberty Statue while taking in the breathtaking vistas. Let us now check out the Hospital in the Rock, a museum that takes visitors through a labyrinthine network of caves and tunnels. We are now headed to the Buddha Hills, a green oasis offering serene hiking trails, breathtaking viewpoints, and the chance to explore nature reserves. The Danube River Cruise is a leisurely boat cruise along the Danube River. These activities and attractions offer a memorable experience. Our next stop is Fisherman's Bastion. Another must-see attraction in Budapest is Fisherman's Bastion, a distinctive and ornate fortification that offers visitors stunning views of the city. Marvel at the stunning views of the Danube, the Parliament Building, and the Pest side of the city. Let us now take a look at the Chain Bridge, another well-known monument which crosses the Danube River to link Buddha and Pest. If you are a history buff, then you'll appreciate a visit to the Buddha Castle, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that has been beautifully preserved since the 13th century. The Matthias Church is also worth visiting, as it has an intricate and impressive Gothic facade that will leave you in awe. For those who enjoy thermal natural beauty and cultural experiences that are sure to leave a lasting impression on any visitor. Let us now head up to Berlin, the capital city of Germany, a thriving center of history and culture. The famous sites to see include Brandenburg Gate and the Berlin Wall. Let us now head off to Munich. The city of Munich is renowned for its Leiderhosen, pretzels, and beer. In addition, it has stunning architectural structures, galleries, and museums. Our next stop is Hamburg, the second largest city in Germany, known for its maritime heritage. Don't miss the chance to visit the Elfil Harmony, a concert hall that is considered one of the world's best.
we are now headed off to Cologne. The city is home to the stunning Cologne Cathedral, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also a great place to explore the local beer culture and sample some traditional culture. Let us now visit Bavaria. This region of Germany is known for its stunning scenery, including the Bavarian Alps and picturesque villages. Make sure to visit Neuschwanstein Castle, which inspired the Disney Castle. Neuschwanstein Castle served as the model for the Disney Castle. Begin your trip by traveling to the Sema city of Zurich. This financial center is home to magnificent architecture, top-notch museums, and a thriving nightlife. Wander around Lake Zurich to take in the stunning vistas of the Alps nearby. For a truly Swiss experience, head to the city of Lucien, Switzerland. Famous for its stunning medieval architecture, wooden bridges, and scenic mountains, Lucien is an ideal destination for cultural lovers. Take a leisurely walk around the picturesque old town, visit the Laun Monument, and admire the magnificent views of Mount Pilatus. We now explore the Jungfrau region, home to some of Switzerland's most iconic peaks, such as Eigermunch and Jungfrau Swiss Mountains. Let us now travel simply to Jungfrau Joch, Europe's highest railway station, and take in sweeping vistas of the surrounding peaks. If you are seeking adventure, let us travel to Interlachen, Switzerland. Interlachen, which is referred to as the adventure capital of Switzerland, has a variety of sports, including skydiving, paragliding, and bungee jumping. While still in Switzerland, embark on a lovely boat tour or go trekking around Lake Thun and Lake Brienz. Let us now head to the next destination, the Fischio Mountain Pass in Lower Austria. I've been to many mountain passes, but I've never seen one like this before. Thanks to a deep crack in the earth that splits open on one side and forms a tunnel on the other. It's like watching an elaborate science fiction movie unfold before your eyes. You can walk right through it while still staying in the story. I'll be honest, I had a hard time getting my head wrapped around just how fantastic this is. It's not that it was impossible to understand, but it was so much to take in. Let us now head off to this famous Austrian village, Holstadt, located close to Salzburg. Here we find the village's salt mines where the first indication of salt mining was found. Holstadt has unique cultural heritage. The Celtic words Hall and Stadt, which both mean rock and place, are the source of the name. Early farmers, the Celtic people settled in regions with significant rock outcroppings. This is the most current explanation of the abundance of rock formations in the area of Holstadt today. Our next stop is the majestic Alps in Salzburg and Tyrol, which is an incredible sight to behold. They provide magnificent vistas of the surrounding countryside and snow-capped summits. Views of the Salzburg and Tyrol Alps, including the recognizable Zugspitze Summit, the highest mountain in Germany, will be provided to visitors. In addition to taking in the majesty of the mountains, Visitors can engage in a variety of sports like bicycling, hiking, and skiing.
Next, we head to Grosch Glockner, High Alpine Road, for a spectacular view. It's a very popular route to see the spectacular views of the mountain. We are now headed to the picturesque Lake District of Carinthian Styria, a popular travel destination because of its picturesque Lake District in Carinthia and Styria. Numerous lakes, waterfalls, mountains, woods, and valleys may be found in the district. Podsha, the biggest lake in Carinthia, and Milstetter Sea, which is situated 840 meters, equivalent to 2,726 feet above sea level in Styria, are two of the most well-known lakes. Due to its breathtaking beauty and abundant water resources, Austria's picturesque lake district is one of the country's most well-liked tourist destinations. There are lakes, mountains, woods, and valleys in the district. Our next destination is Vienna. Explore Schönbrunn Palace. Visit the magnificent summer residence of the Habsburg monarchs with stunning gardens and opulent interiors. Stroll through St. Stephen's Cathedral. Admire the Gothic architecture of this iconic cathedral and climb the tower for panoramic views of Vienna. Visit the Balvidia Palace. Discover a remarkable collection of Austrian art, including Gustav Klimt's famous painting, The Kiss. Experience the Vienna State Opera. Attend a performance or take a guided tour of one of the world's most renowned opera houses. Indulge in Viennese coffee culture. Relax in a traditional Viennese cafe and savour delicious pastry. Our next stop is Salzburg. Discover the Marabel Palace and Gardens. Wander through the beautiful manicured gardens and enjoy the stunning views of Salzburg Old Town. Explore Hohen Salzburg Fortress, where we take a funicular ride up to this medieval fortress and enjoy panoramic views of the city. Follow in Mozart's footsteps, visit Mozart's birthplace and Mozart's residence to learn more about the life and works of the famous composer. Take a sound of music tour. Explore the filming locations of the beloved movie, visiting picturesque sites like Mirabel Gardens and Helbron Palace. Attend a classical concert. Immerse yourself in Salzburg rich musical heritage by attending a concert featuring works by Mozart and other renowned composers. Let us now head up to Graz. Explore Schlossberg. Climb up to this hilltop fortress and enjoy stunning views of grass. Don't miss the iconic clock tower, also known as the Utan. Wander through the old town. Discover the narrow streets and historic buildings of Grass Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visit the Kunsthaus Grass, marvel at the unique architecture of this contemporary art museum and explore its impressive exhibitions. Relax in the city parks. Take a leisurely stroll in the Stadtpark or the city park and enjoy the green spaces and beautiful sculptures. Taste Styrian cuisine. Sample the local delicacies such as pumpkin seed oil, Styrian wine, and the traditional dishes like Beckendale breaded fried chicken. We are now headed to our final destination, Linz. Visit Linto's Kunst Museum. Explore this modern art museum located on the banks of the Danube and discover its diverse collection. Explore the Arts Electronica Center. Immerse yourself in the world of technology and innovation at this interactive museum. Discover the Linz Castle. Visit the historical Linz Castle, which now houses a museum showcasing the city's history and culture. Enjoy a walk along the Danube. Take a leisurely stroll or rent a bike along the Danube River enjoying the scenic views and fresh air. Attend the Bruckner Festival. If visiting during the festival season, experience the renowned Bruckner Festival, dedicated to the composer Anton Bruckner. We hope this video was enjoyable and gave you a taste of what this incredible continent has to offer. Europe should be at the top of your list of places to visit if you haven't already. Please like, subscribe and share this video. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.